Okay, welcome to part five. In this video, we're gonna be adding color to our pipes. We're gonna keep it simple, blue for cold, red for hot, and green for waste water. To begin, I'd like you to select one of your cold water pipes. I'll just click on that one because I know it's a cold water pipe. I'm gonna to go to edit type, and then we're gonna duplicate this pipe. Let's go ahead and just call it cold water. So we have a cold water pipe now. And then where it says routing preferences, click edit, go to segments and sizes, click on that. And then we're going to change it from this carbon steel over to just a pipe with color. So we can change the material if we want, but we're just gonna adjust the color. So I'll click on that button here, go to materials. And for material, I'm gonna click dot, dot, dot. That's gonna open up our material browser over here, I want you to create a new material. So click down here, create new material. And the identity of this can just be uh, cold water pipe. And if, it, if you had a specific preference on what it should be, PVC or whatnot, you can set that as well. Then for the graphics area, we're gonna leave that blank. We're gonna go straight to appearance. And then I'm going to adjust the color of this to red. So going to click on that color option, go to red, and then that puts it over there. I'm going to go back to graphics, and I'm just going to check this box here that says use rendered appearance, press apply, press OK. And then, of course, the second I do that, I realize that this was a cold water pipe, not a hot water pipe, so it should be blue. Okay, press OK, so cold water pipe, everything else is fine. Before I exit out of this, I need to make sure I switch it to the cold water pipe. So it's now cold water, press OK, press OK, and then that should be set. Now it's not gonna look like anything in this view, and we need to click on the bottom here on our graphic display options and switch it to like shaded. So if I switch to shaded right away, you'll notice that that is now a blue component. We're gonna leave the fittings as their gray selves but that's just because it's a little more complex to adjust those things, like a bit more work on our end. But that's how you make the pipe a different color. So for a hot water pipe, you'll do the same thing. Select it, edit type, duplicate it, hot water pipe. I don't know if I called it, I, I think I just called it hot water before. Okay, hot water, routing preferences, uh, segments and sizes. That's fine, but we got to add in a new material. And we're going to create a new material. So hot water pipe PVC. Then appearance. Let's go ahead, change that to red. Graphics override. Use rendered appearance. I'll hit apply. OK. Now that's all good, so okay, and then that says hot water there, so that's okay. And then over here, I'm gonna change it over to hot water pipe PVC, press okay, press okay. And now that's red. And then for our waste pipes like this one, coming off the toilet, I'll select it, edit type, and call this waste water, okay. Edit the routing preferences, segments and sizes, click here, new material, create new material, identity, waste, water, pipe, PVC, appearance, colors, let's choose like a green, okay, it's updating right now, but I'm going to go to graphics and use the rendered appearance, apply, okay. That looks fine, okay, that looks fine. And then change that here to wastewater. Okay, and then press okay. Okay, so now that's been updated. And then any other pipe that belongs to that system, you can just hold down the control key while selecting it. And then over here in your options, if you click on the pipe types, you'll notice that you have all your options. So I could just select the cold water and it will update it accordingly. So the main thing is that you're just selecting pipes of that type 
So you want to make sure that everything you're selecting belongs to that family of pipes. So I think I got all the cold water pipes and that hit. Now I'm going to focus on the hot water pipes. that and then lastly I need to focus on the waste water pipes like so okay and I think those were some straggler pipes from earlier in the series so I'll delete those awesome so what we have here is now a proper for the most part, 3D plumbing plan view. There are definitely some things myth missing, so don't think like, oh, they forgot the trap or the clean out or whatever, uh, different important components to an actual plumbing system. But this gives you a pretty good general idea of how the plumbing works in a structure. Okay, so hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, this is Mr. Z signing out. Peace.